Hello, good evening, my lovely Leos. How's everyone doing today? I hope everyone is well, blessed, healthy, all of that good stuff. Okay, welcome back to my channel. To those who are already subscribed, I can't shuffle today. Um, thank you for supporting the channel. And for those of you who are stopping in, who are new to the channel, thanks for stopping in, okay? And welcome my cross watchers. So this is going to be for my lovely Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Um, we're going to go ahead and jump in and see what it is that Spirit wants you guys to know today, okay? Let's see what's going on. It's going to be current energy, too, okay? All right. All right, you guys. Let's see what's going on. All right. Holy Spirit, angel spirits, and guides. Let me be the voice for the collective. Clear messages only from the pure, divine, white light, please. All right. Only messages from the pure, white light. So, Spirit, let's see what's going on with my lovely Leos today. What's going on? Okay, so we have the Ace of Cups and we have the Star card. All right, Leo, so you are starting off the reading. It's looking good, looking good. All right, so now the energies can flip-flop, as you already know that. If you guys do not know and you're new to watching Tarot, this can be your energy or this can be the energy of the person that you clicked on this video for, okay? So take it as it resonates, um, put everything where it fits. But right now, what I am seeing is that someone um, wants to offer you a cup of love, okay? Someone has a lot of love for you. Someone has a lot of emotions when it comes to you. And I feel like this person now is ready to come in and offer you this cup of love. Um, I feel like this person has um, been doing some healing. Um, this person has went within and um, they realize some things now. They realize who you are to them and how much they love you. And um, I don't know how long it's been since you have been waiting for this person, but I feel like this person is ready to come in now and offer you this cup of love, okay? They look at you as their wish fulfillment. This person really cares about you a lot, Leo. All right. All right, let's see what else we got going on here. All right, Spirit, what else do we have going on here for my Leos? Nice, too many cards. All right, so we have the Two of Wands, okay? So, I feel like in the past that this person decided that, you know, that they were going to see what else is out there. They weren't really sure, you know, how this connection was going to go, how it was going to turn out, if it was going to last. Um, they weren't sure. So they decided in the past to go out and look and see what else is out there. Or either this could be you, Leo. Um, you had made a decision to walk away and go see what else was out there because you no longer wanted to wait on this person to come in and offer you this love, okay? This person probably wanted you to wait until they were finished doing whatever it is that they were doing or if they were in another commitment, but you decided that you weren't going to do that, okay? Let's see. All right. We have the King of Cups. And we have the Three of Wands. Okay, so you could be dealing with a water sign. Um, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and or you can be dealing with a, another fire sign. Um, Leo, Sag, or in Aries, okay? So what I'm strongly feeling here at the bottom of the deck, we have the Knight of Swords. Okay, so what I'm strongly feeling here is I feel like now the person that you have been waiting on, 
okay it's now ready to come in after healing and going within and looking at the bigger picture and realizing how much they care for you and how many much emotions that they really truthfully have for you they want to come in and they want to offer you this cup of love okay and i feel like you waited on this person for a long time and you while you were waiting on this person i feel like this person was going and they were offering their cup you know elsewhere maybe they were in another commitment but they were offering, they, they were walking away and offering their cup elsewhere. Now, um, you're waiting on this person. And, and like I said, this person is ready to come in. Knight of, uh, Knight of Swords. This person probably feels like you have someone else or they don't want, they can't stand the thought of even thinking about you being with someone else okay so they know that you are waiting on them okay they know that you are waiting on them or with this three of wands this can be them waiting on something to come in maybe waiting for the right opportunity to come in and offer you this cup okay let's see what else and we have the four of pentacles yes this person is definitely holding on um, definitely holding on to you. Um, you did, you could be dealing with a Capricorn. Okay. This person can definitely be holding on to you. They just don't know how to come in and offer you this cup. They don't know. They, they, I feel like this person feels like you are going to refuse this cup or is going to refuse this offer that they are coming in to give to you. Let's see. That's too many cards. All right, what else we got from the spirit for my wheels? What else do we have for my wheels today, spirit? Okay, so we have the Ace of Wands. So this person definitely wants to come in and offer you not only just the emotions and the love. This person has a lot of passion for you too. This person has a lot of passion and they, they have made up their mind. We have judgment. This person knows that it's time for them to make up their mind and make the decision to either come in or not to. But the, the energy that I'm getting here is this person loves you so, so much. I don't know what happened to this relationship in the past but something happened and made this person realize that you are their wish fulfillment and they know that the time is now for them to make a decision they know that you are waiting they know let's see what else we have here spirit Okay, so we have the Seven of Pentacles. So, and then we have the Devil card. Bottom of the deck, we go. We have the Strength card. Okay, so I feel like why while you were waiting for your person to come in with this offer, um, and tell you exactly how much they love you and the emotions and passion that they have towards you. I feel like you have been healing. I feel like you walked away from this situation and you decided that you were just going to go and heal. And you planted the seeds for this person to come in. And it's like you are, you're, you just have been waiting for this to manifest. OK, you've been waiting for this to manifest and this person like while you were waiting, you know, and you decided to walk away from this situation because this person, I feel like they went back to a karmic partner that they were codependent on for whatever reason. If it was for money, um, this could have been the parent of their child. They could have been married to this person, but they were tied to this person. They were connected to this person, this karmic partner for whatever reason it is and they were codependent on this relationship they could have been with this person for a very long time and they just couldn't make up their mind this is what they were used to this is who they were used to 
you know, so they decided to go back and be with this karmic partner. And now I feel like this person is realizing that that's not where it is that they want to be. They look at you like you are the star. You are their wish fulfillment. Okay. We have the Ten of Pentacles. And we have the Eight of Wands. So I feel, for so this is what I'm getting here. And we have the Ten of Wands at the bottom of the day. This person has been carrying a lot of burdens on their back. Because when they went in and they went back to this karmic partner, they didn't feel the love you know, that they felt for you. They they weren't happy with this person. This person was just someone that they have been with and they are used to. They didn't know how to take the love and the passion and everything that you were giving to them. I feel like this person was really scared of this connection because they didn't understand it at first. They didn't understand it at first, Leo. And... With the Ten of Pentacles and the Eight of Wands here, I strongly feel like this person is getting ready to come in. You're going to be receiving a message, some type of message about passion and love. This person is going to communicate with you. And they're coming in pretty fast too, Leo. This person is definitely coming in. Like I said, they're holding on to you. And they're coming in fast to communicate with you about this Ten of Pentacles, about this family life, about how you make them feel, all the emotions and the love and the passion that they have deep down inside for you. Now this person wants to come in and express this to you. Maybe in the past, this person has never told you about how they really felt about you. Okay, because they were so much like in and out of your life, you know, they left you to go be back with this karmic partner and now it's not working because they realize that's not where it is that they want to be. So we have the moon card, but the moon card came in reverse. So I feel like secrets are coming out. OK, secrets are getting ready to come out about how this person truly feels about you, um, the passion that they have for you, the love that they have for you, Leo. And I feel like before in the past, there might have been some delays, but the delays are over with. You have waited long enough for this person to come to you and express to you how they feel. And they're getting ready to, Leo. This person is getting ready to. OK, what else, spirit? Yeah, this person has went in the hermit. This person has went in. I feel like your person probably had went through a dark night of the soul. Okay? And they had to go in and they had to sit. And they had to just separate themselves from everybody so they can get their thoughts together and they can heal. But this person is being guided to come back to you. You are their wish fulfillment. You are the star. They see that now. They understand these feelings. They understand this love. They understand that you are their person. They know that this situation that they are in with this karmic partner is over with. They no longer want to be with that person, okay? And you planted the seeds, you've manifested and you just decided to go out and see what was else was out there. Maybe you've just been working on yourself, you know, and healing and doing what you had to do in the meantime. And now this person is getting ready to come in and offer you this cup of love. So we have the nine of swords here. Yeah, you know, and this can be you. Or this can be your person, but with the nine of swords, this is somebody who is so restless. And I really feel like this is the energy of your person. This person is so restless that they can't even sleep at night. You know, they're having nightmares about everything that they did to you to stab you in the back, but that has come to an end. That's the end of that. This person no longer wants to hurt you. This person no longer wants to be away from you. Okay. And they can't sleep. They're tired. They don't want to do this without you anymore. And we had the three of cups. Yeah, they're having nightmares about this third party situation that they put you in with this karmic partner. Now they're seeing the light. Now they understand. <clears throat> and then we have the knight of wands, but it came out in reverse. Okay, so this 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 person this person is no longer in that player energy. Okay, they are coming in and they are coming in as the person that you need for them to be, Leo. They no longer want to be in and out of your life. Okay, and then we have the three of pentacles. 
and we have the five of swords. Yeah, Leo. So this, this person no longer wants to be in and out of your life. This person wants to come in and this person wants to build something solid. This person wants to come in and work together with you and build a solid foundation, something that is going to last. They see you as their future. They see you as somebody that they can build with and have a happy family with. And they have completely lost interest in this karmic partner and they're walking away from this karmic partner. They don't want to be with this karmic partner in, uh, anymore. And at the bottom of the deck, we have the Nine of Cups. Yeah, this person has grown up. This person has matured a lot. So it's probably going to shock you when this person comes back in, Leo, because they have healed, they have grew up, they understand, you know, exactly what it means to settle down and love someone. They don't want to be in this karmic, uh, codependent relationship that they're anymore. They're walking away from that and they are ready to come in and give you their all. Okay, let's see what else we have here, Spirit. Yeah. You're manifest. You manifested this. You manifested this person coming back into you, Leo. You did. You healed and you manifested and you just waited. It's like you knew that they were going to come back. You knew that this person was going to come back. Yeah, like I said, but they have a nightmares and stuff about this third party situation and all these other options of love that they chose over you. And it's really bother. It's like really hurting them. It's getting to them. It's like they they can't stay away from you any longer. They can't. And then we have the Eight of Pentacles. Yeah. And you were just working on your money. You healed and you were working on your money and doing whatever it is that you had to do for yourself. We have the five of wands. Yeah, and because this person was a player, you know, that caused for you guys to have a lot of fights and arguments. You told this person that you're not about to deal with them coming in and out of your life, and you completely walked away from them. Now they see the light. Now they understand. They understand now. And this person really loves you. They don't want to argue and fight with you anymore. They don't want to continuously put you in third-party situations. They don't want to choose all of these other options because this person does have options. But this person doesn't want any of these options. This person wants you. Yeah. Okay. Well, this is beautiful, Leah. Let's see what else we got here. Yeah, this person is getting ready to come in, Leo. You be expecting a message, a call, an email, or something from this person. Because I strongly feel like this person can't take me away from you anymore. They can't. They are definitely holding on to you. Okay? So all the delays that there were... In the past, there are no more delays. You are going to get your wish fulfillment. Everything that you manifested is coming to truth. Yeah. And they know that you're their soulmate. We have the two of cups. Okay. They want to come in together and work with you on this divine connection. Definitely. Here you are, Leo. Queen of Wands. Okay. Yeah, the bottom of the deck, we had a page of wands. But this person knows that when they come in, they got to come in right. They know they got to come in right. They know they, get, they, they can't come to you with anything but the truth and honesty. You know, you've healed. There is no more arguing and fighting. You know who you are. And you know your worth. And this person does too. Okay. All right, Leo, let's see here. Wow. Hmm. Okay, this is good, Leo. This is good. All right, spirits. So let's see. Oh, we're going to what? Let's see here. What's going to be the outcome of this situation? What's going to be the outcome with Leo and their person? What's going to be the outcome with Leo and their person, Spirit? What's going to be the outcome? 
with Leo and their person. This will be the outcome spirit. Yeah, this is a soulmate. This is, is a divinely guided soulmate, Leo. And I think that you knew this already, but this person had to go in and figure it out for themselves. They had some karmic lessons that needed to be learned. They had to go through everything that they had to go through in order to be able to come in and give you this two of cups, okay? And offer you this commitment. But they're definitely coming. They definitely come in. What's the outcome here for my Leos, please, Spirit? What's the... Mm -mm. <clears throat> okay, what's the outcome, Spirit? You have the lovers. Yes. I feel like this can even be your twin, Leo. I really feel twin flame energy here, okay? With the two of cups and then the lovers too. <clears throat> and we have the imprisonment. Yeah, your person is all up in their head. They all up in their head. They are in a mental prison right now trying to figure out how it is that they're going to send this message or reach out to you because they've done so much to you in the past. Um, they stab you in the back so many times, Leo. They feel like you are going to refuse this offer. So right now, this person is trying to figure out how to come to you. Okay. Can I have one more card, please, Spirit? Thank you. One more card for the outcome, please. I don't even know which one came out first. So we have the privileged lady and we have the mature lady. Yeah, so I really feel like your person is all up in their head about this privileged lady and how to move away from this karmic partner because they want to come in and they want to be with you. They don't want to be with this person anymore. They don't. And that's just the truth of the matter. They don't want to be with that person no more. A fiery um, climax approaches. Hold your vision. Okay. <clears throat> and look at the bigger picture. It's at the bottom of the deck. All right. So let's get a couple of messages from your person, Leo, and see. see what they want to say to you. Alright, Spirit. Alright, let's get a couple messages from Leo's person, please. If Leo's person can say anything to them, what would they say? If I need to talk to, I need to talk to you, but I'm afraid to reach out. Yeah, I told you that. I told you this person is trying to figure out how to come in and communicate with you. They don't know what to say to you because they've done so much to you in the past. Let's see what else. person don't know what to say. The person do not know what to say. They know they want to say something. They just don't know how. They don't know how. Abused. So your person was abused in their childhood. I feel like some things happened to them in their childhood that they have not spoke to you about, that they probably never speak about, that they have been holding in growing up all through their childhood up until now. And that would cause them to act the way that they act towards you. You know, they were abused. You know, they, they probably thought that that was the way that it, it, you were supposed to treat people. Like, they never were taught how to really love and care for someone. I almost, I almost let them destroy our connection. Yeah, so yo, so there was other people involved in this connection. And yo, um, 
your um your person, your soulmate, your twin, you know, listen to everything that everybody else had to say. And they didn't follow their heart. They didn't go. They were scared of commitment. They didn't know how to go about this. They loved you and they cared for you. And they felt the same feelings that you did. Like I said, this is strong twin flame. Very strong divine connection here. So they felt all your tears. And when you were sad, they felt that. They knew that they did you wrong. And now this person is going through it. And they're scared that they're going to lose you. I care about you. Okay. Two more messages, please, Spirit. Oh. I am healing. Yes. Told you that your person was, you know, they had to go in hermit mode and heal before they could come in to you because they know that they got to come right. But this person is definitely healing right now from everything that they have been through with this karmic partner. You know, everything, all the dreams and nightmares and everything that they have and about how they treated you, Leo. All right, can I have one more message, please? One more message, please, Spirit. Thank you. Told you. I told you this your twin, twin flames. I told you. Yes, you can't lie. I see it. I see it. All right. I know you deserve more at the bottom of the deck. Y'all believe so if you was wondering if this is your twin and this story resonates with you, this is your twin. And you probably already knew that. That's why you just walked away and you healed and you just manifested and did everything you had to do because you knew that this person was coming back to you. You knew this person was going to come back sooner or later. And here they are because they're definitely coming in. As soon as they figure out what to say, honey. Oh, wow. This is going to lead to a marriage. Oh, I'm so happy for y'all. Okay, this is going to lead to a marriage. Oh, my gosh. Yes, Leo. Okay. All that hard work paid off. All that patience paid off. Yes, I love it. Commitment. It's so beautiful. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm so happy for you guys. All right. So there you have it. I hope that this resonated with someone. Do me a favor and share this video. Um, so someone else, there's another Leo that needs to hear this. Um, if you guys are subscribed already, thank you so much for stopping back in and joining me. If you're not, please hit this, um, the notification bell so you guys can be notified every time I upload another video and that way it also puts your energy into the cards okay so you guys have a very blessed day and I will talk to you guys soon I love you bye